Yo, what up? I'm Stephen Carpenter from the Deftones, and uh, you're watching me on Zounds. So. Abe, Chino, and I, we all met around through the neighborhood, through skateboarding and stuff like that. We all loved, you know, music and, and, and played, you know, instruments and stuff like that. I always wanted to be in a band. So, I, you know, me and Abe started jamming all the time. Then another friend of ours, Dominic Garcia, he's our uh, original bass player. We started jamming, and once we started, you know, putting together a couple of little tunes, we're like, man, if we just had a singer, we'd have a, we'd have a full band, you know, and... Chino would always, you know, every time we were in the, you know, jamming out in the garage, he would jump on the mic, you know. The the band is literally a, just the results of our friendship and, and and hanging out, doing, that's what we enjoy doing with each other. No one really brings ideas to the table. Someone might on occasion do it, but it's almost entirely jam-based, you know. We'll start jamming, but as soon as we, you know, uh, it falls apart or someone loses interest in whatever, we'll just get back to hanging out. So we go back over there. We just go back and forth all the time. We very rarely sit there and grind it out for any great period of time uh, on our instruments. It's that simple for us, you know, and and we maintain it easily because, you know, it's not hard to just be your friend's friend. My rig, for the record, is two Axe FXs, an angle power amp, two orange cabinets, my pedal board. My pedal board is just my, my MFC, the Axe FX controller. I have two TC Electronics Ditto pedals and an even tide pedal. And the even tide pedal is right after my True Tone splitter. And that's just so I could go into the two Axe FXs. I have the even tide to have a party. And I got a little party going into the front of the Axe FX. And I got two Dittos on the back end. One, actually, my two Dittos, one is, 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 No, they're both on the back. But those are purely for, you know, really just getting wild with loops. And and, and mostly because why not? <laughs> Again, there's there's not like there's not a I don't have an exact reason other than why not? Let's have some fun. Um, I've said before and I can still say, you know, now they're they're beautiful instruments just just to look at them, obviously, and uh, but playing them, they're comfortable. They feel great. What got me into them was uh, was originally Anthrax and 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 uh, just the the Scott Ian's collection that he had. I was just like, man, that guitar looks amazing. Just I want one of those bad one day, you know. And I mean, just the guitar is always, you know, visually. Just I've always enjoyed it, you know. Uh, when I when I started playing guitar, I I I'd went through a. a, a a handful of pickups, you know, trying to figure out which ones, you know, I kind of like. And all of them at the time were uh, Seymour Duncan and DiMarzio pickups. I ended up really loving the, the JB for a long time, and that's what I used for years till I switched over to the EMGs, and I really loved those. And uh, I used that setup for, for years, and uh, I was always lacking, like, this, this uh, I can't say full body, but I felt like I was missing... Uh, an edge to my to my sound out of the pickup that I was once getting out of my my JBs, and I had always said you know because throughout the years whenever we had I had any conversation with anyone about doing a signature pickup, if we could just make a JB into one of these, then I would I'd be set. I got introduced to the to the the Fluence pickup, so we set through a set in one of my seven strings, and uh, it was uh I just jammed out on it you know on my instrument for like an hour straight like felt like I was playing through those JVs again. So I had that on there. I was like, God damn, that's incredible. And that was it. I was like, all right, let's go. Um, well, I got into seven strings specifically because of my uh, being a fan of, uh, of Meshuggah at the time. You know, that I just, that, that sound, that band just sounds so amazing to me when I got into them and I, and was just blown away, and I was like, and I was like, seven string sounds, like seven string, damn, you know, it's just, I mean, for me, I was just like, 
it's just bowing down to what to where the just the, the the where it was just going down at you know as far as far as music in my head i had already shunned the seven string for you know ages up to that point i was like you know what there's no more shunning this we're going straight to the sevens and uh just went at it like i always been doing it you know i didn't didn't think too much about it and just started playing it like it was six but now i got a lower string <laughs> And now I, you know, playing on eight, and and soon I'll be playing nines. I'm like seven string is like playing on a six string. Like I couldn't imagine playing a six string at all anymore. Now I, mean, I could just never go back to that. And I, and a seven string just sounds so clear still to me. It still sounds bright and and punchy. You know, the eight string even sounding getting clear like that now with the with these pickups. You know, I can finally hear hear the grind into that top string where I could couldn't hear it at first. You know. Now it's normal. Like I said, when I start playing the nines, I'm going to be like, I got the bass out, guys. Let's go. <laughs> if you're going to be genre based, you know, that you're going to you're going to limit yourself and you'll it'll, it'll start to be what the genre is before it becomes something that you like. So I say just be creative. Think of that blank canvas and you're just scribbling all over it kind of, you know, you know, they're they're don't get caught up in the pattern you know it's nice but if you want to be really 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 expressive and and really wild forget about a pattern that is actual progressive to me is not doing what you're expected of you know there there are things that you should do that you are expected to do but otherwise outside of you know being a great person which you're expected to be and being great to others which you're expected to do man have some fun with people you know Throw him a curveball. So, so, good job,